What's up guys? Uh, I just want to talk a little bit about the two videos that were released today by Jeff Fabiano. Uh, I think he called them preview videos. So he showed us some of the Monster series and some Xfinity series. Uh, so just go through quick uh, some of the things that I stood out to me. Um, I'm going to go through the negatives first and then the positives. Uh, everything has its negatives and positives so I got to talk about it so first of all it's gonna be pretty much the same for, for both Xfinity and, and, and the cup uh, the first thing is the difficulty it does seem somewhat easy especially in the back um, when you start at the rear the, the you know the cars in the back are slower than the cars up front so a part of that yeah it could be explained and uh, Jeff did put the game on at a hundred difficulty I don't know why he doesn't just put it on a hundred and five and show us you know what it's like with this game at you know maxed out I'd like to see that and that's why I keep getting that little red flag that keeps like telling me this game seems too easy but at the same time it's only at a hundred so I don't know what to think about it it's just continues to be a question mark um, but I will say this, as you know, as uh, you know, what? Let me save this for the positive. The question mark, the difficulty is still a question mark, right? It's not really a negative. It's just sort of an unknown. Um, the plate racing, again, there's good stuff and bad stuff about it. But what the thing that stood out to me that I'm not too crazy about, and maybe that had to do with the difficulty is the drafting itself now overall the the plate racing it looks a lot better it's very stable it feels more realistic except that the draft when you suck up into the draft it's almost like you get way too much speed you just pull up on these guys like a freight train it's almost like it's overdone i don't know if that has more to do with the difficulty setting or if this is just the way that this draft works, where it, that where it's so noticeable and it really has that big of an effect on your car, I really hope it, it's more about that the setting, the difficulty setting was only at a hundred. Hopefully, if you set it up to to one hundred five, the draft isn't that extreme. It's just a little too much for me. I, I think it's too much. I don't know what you guys think, but overall, the the drafting. I liked it, the, you know, very stable, and, and I liked it. You know, it was pretty good, but that, the drafting, that's uh, another kind of question mark. Again, you know, it. I, I put this in the negative uh, category, but it's not really a negative. I, I don't know if I should have put it that way. It's more of a question mark. Um, the caution system. We are not really getting a lot of footage of that, right? It pops up once in a while. Sometimes the AI just causes a caution. Unfortunately, there's no caution replay, so you can't really know what caused it. But, you know, that works. And it does, I don't know, it, a couple of times, uh, Faviano hit, hit a car, and the, the car would go completely sideways, but they would correct it. I think there were times where the car should have just lost it, and it, they, they almost correct too much. I don't know if that's good or bad because then you know you'd get cautions all the time so I don't know if that's a negative again and he did at one time there was a car that went completely around and there was a slight delay but the caution did come out so I don't I'd like to see more I don't know if the caution system is really fixed or you know we haven't seen enough to know so I'd like to see more of it and the sound right the sound is definitely better than last year and I do notice a different sound between the cup and the Xfinity that's a good thing but it's still not where it should be um even last week the last race uh, that I saw on TV you know they'll every once in a while they'll, they'll give you that in-car cam shot or from behind the cars and you can hear clearly how these cars sound and it's so different from what these games do I don't know what it is 
it's like a mystery. Why can't these developers get authentic sounding cars? I don't know what it is. Can't you stick a recording device in these cars, in a real car, and just get real sound? I don't know how it works. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. There may be something that we're not aware of. But in spite of it being improved, which is a good step forward, you know, they're not just throwing out the same sound again. It's still not there. And I hope they keep working on it. Faviano did say that the game is not finished. There's still a work in progress. I'm a little skeptical because it's only, I would say, maybe three weeks away. More, give or take a few days. It's not that far away from release. I hope he's right. I hope they are still making changes to the last minute. But it's an improvement, but it's it's not good enough yet. So, again, that's another sort of question mark. So I guess everything that, I'm, that I found that I said, would, let me get the negative stuff out first, isn't really that negative. It's more just unknown. But now we can talk about the, the stuff that I, that I saw that I, that I like. Um, the graphics, I mean, I've been saying over and over that not to expect, you know, something that looks radically different from last year. And I still feel that way, but I gotta say, when you watch these game, extended gameplay videos, you can see a, a noticeable difference with the graphics. I mean, it's not like a huge step forward, but the game looks pretty good. And the thing that really stands out to me are the reflections and the lighting, especially in the night racing. Uh, when we saw the Xfinity car, I, I think it was at Iowa. I mean, that it looked good. The cars looked good. The reflections and the lighting looked good. And I remember going back to last year when we saw the preview uh, gameplay. You know, I hated the way that everything looked so ashy. And that's not happening this year. The game does look noticeably better. Um, am I the only one seeing that? It, I don't know what it is. Is it just growing on me? The game looks pretty decent. Again, it's not on the level of other race games, right? But it's 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 noticeable. You know, I do see uh, an improvement. So that's a positive thing. The smoke uh, effect is reduced. They clearly did something to, to dial it back. So it looked much better. Um, the AI. I really think that 704 games, if I was to, if somebody was to ask me, what do you think 704 games has done? What's the best thing they've done out of everything you've seen, right? One of the things I would say is, yeah, you know what, getting 40 people to be able to race online and it works, and it's stable. I know there's some people that say there's, they've had some connection issues, but honestly, I, I didn't see too much of that. And if there were issues, it was usually on the user side. You know, somebody just didn't have good con internet access. But if you got a good internet access, and the thing ran pretty good. And I don't think any other game has done it as well as, as last year's game as far as just being able to run a full field of, of, of people at the same time. I think that was a big thing. But I think even more impressive is I think what they've done with the AI. Now, last year's AI, I gave them a lot of credit because of the stability, right? We've been sort of hammered year after year from your technics, the terrible AI, uh, glitchy, real, all over the place. Uh, no sense of awareness. Now, last year, they did have issues, right? It wasn't perfect, but it was stable, okay? And and they, they did run pretty decently, right? My issues pertaining to, to, to last year was the AI pitch strategy, which was horrendous, okay? That's a huge issue that it's possibly a game-breaking issue that I really hope they addressed. And the fact that they just did not spread out. You could run lap after lap, and these cars would stay clumped up in packs, almost like plate racing. 
and I hated that, and that, that kind of ruined the racing, right, in that sense. It just took forever for these cars to start breaking apart, and, 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 and even then, a lot of them would tend to run the bottom only. But the thing I've noticed, these, this year, the AI spreads out. They spread out starting just in a couple of, the first few couple of laps, they start spreading out, and they run different lines. So I see an obvious improvement, and that's a big issue that, that was a stickler for me. You know, I really hated that, and they did address it. It's pretty obvious. So I'm excited about that. These guys should really be proud of the AI and where they're headed with it. Doesn't mean that it's going to be perfect, but everything I see this year is a big improvement. So that's, I think that's, if that might be their signature achievement as, as a company. What they've been able to do with AI, it's, it's really uh, good, okay? It's not perfect. And there's things that remain to be seen. Again, I haven't seen green flag pitting. So I want to see some green flag pit stops. I want to see do these. Or, or even in a caution, like we had a few cautions where, where he pitted and, and whatever. But he didn't really notice if the rest of the field pitted or whatever. Uh, that's, you know, the pit strategy is extremely important. And... I want to see how that works. So I we haven't really seen much of that. So I want to see more of that. I want to see more how of the caution system working. Uh, the uh, the spotter, I like it. It's definitely improved, but it's not chatty enough for me. Now it'd be nice if they give you an option in the menu where you can make it a real chatty guy that's constantly feeding you information, or if you don't want to hear this guy talk a lot, you can dial it down. But I definitely want a guy that's constantly feeding me information. It's more realistic. It's what really happens. And sometimes you, you, I notice where he's driving, and even Faviano said it. He wants a guy who's a little chattier, right? And that's exactly how I feel. And there were many times where he's driving and he's like, you know, talk to me. You know, I want to know, is there a guy next to me? And, and this, a lot of times like that, so I... I you know, I'm still unsure, but there is a big uh, difference. You know, it does seem to be more accurate. So, you know, I look forward to, to seeing what it's like personally. But that's a big improvement. And the, the last thing I want to talk about, and it's something that I want people to really take to heart. I know that a, a lot of people are like, man, if the physics aren't greatly improved, this game's going to suck no matter what they do to it. I don't feel that way. I, I'm not one of those people. Um, you, I think the best way for you to enjoy this game is you got to come to terms with the fact that this is not a simulator. It's not going to be. It is what it is. This is they're aiming for an arcade type game. Now, if it's a sim, it's not even a simcade to be honest. You know, a simcade is kind of like a 50-50 deal. This isn't like that. This is like I would say 80%, 85% arcade, and maybe 15% sim. And it's not, you know, but in spite of that, it looks like fun. You know, honestly, if sitting and watching the gameplay, it does look like fun. The only negative thing is like, hey, you know, it does seem a little too easy to pass people and sometimes you pass three or four guys in one corner so I don't like that but what is that is that the fact that he that he was playing at a hundred and not 105 you know there's still question marks there and I'm still hoping that the game isn't as easy as it looks but besides that it does look fun the AI like I said they spread out they run different lines their, their sense of awareness, I do notice something like when you have a position and your nose is right where it's 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 in the lane, they don't just cut you off. Like I've seen they, they kind of like just stay, stay out. They race a little smarter. And that's a big improvement. And it, it makes the game fun. So I think the game could be fun if you just get over the, the fact that it's not going to be a simulator. It just isn't. Um, that doesn't mean the game can't be loads of fun. And it does look fun. And 
the the parts of it that attempt to be uh, a little sim, just a tiny bit, right? Or what they say is take off the traction control. You can't just slam onto the gas. And even Fabiano a couple times almost spun out because he got on the gas a little too hard in coming in or out of the corner. And that's good, right? You can't just floor the car around. That's what you want. He said the cars feel like they have weight to them. That's another positive. So even though the physics aren't, you know, going to be full on sim, it does seem improved from last year. And even at times in the, in the road course, I noticed he got the outer edge of the car, like where the wheel, the outer wheels got just a little bit on the grass, and he had to get off the gas. That car got really squirrely, and he lost a lot of speed. He, he, he didn't just drive over the grass like nothing. So it's not, you know, when you hear arcade, it's not as bad as it sounds. You know, it does feel like there is a little challenge, at least to the physics, you know, enough that it could be fun. My main concern is that the AI is not too easy. And that at, when you set it up to the highest setting, you know, I want it to, to fight you a bit. And, and I don't want it to be easy. Now, the one thing I noticed, like I said before, if you start in the back, you'll get to the top 25, I would say, right? Fairly easy. And I was worried as I was watching the gameplay. I'm like, man, this is too easy. And I know it's not at a higher difficulty, but still, it's too easy. It looks... But as I said that, I noticed that once he got into the t top 20, top 25, it got racier. And some of these cars actually started fighting back. A couple of guys he passed, passed him again. If he got a little squirrely. So they, they started becoming a little racier. And, oh my god, how could I forget? the One of the biggest things I noticed watching these videos, rubber banding is gone. Faviano said they told him there's no more rubber banding, and I don't think they're putting it in the game, and that's a huge, huge plus. So this AI, this uh, rubber banding, it, it was terrible. I think the concept, I understand where it came from, but it just, it just didn't work well. We don't need that in the game. Uh, just set these cars up to run whatever they're meant to run, and that's the best way to do it. And if, if you're good enough to lap, guys, so be it. So that was huge to hear that. I can't believe I forgot. That should have been the first thing I mentioned, but I got it before the video's over. No more rubber banding. Huge news. So that's another plus. But getting back to the AI, when he was in the top 20, 25, the AI did get racier, and he was still at 100. So that gave me some hope. Just when I was like, man, this is too easy, it did kind of get harder. And I like that. And it should be that way, right? Because the further up you go, the, the you know, these are faster cars. These are better drivers. So it should get harder to pass. And it does look like it's doing that. So I could imagine maybe if you set it to 105, maybe this game won't be as easy as I've been fearing. But again, it's still a question mark, but I, I saw some hope watching these gameplay videos. So, the AI, I'm really happy with it, from what it seems. And, um, you know what? You know, the, the cars do get racy at times. And every once in a while, you do see the AI kind of screw up. And I saw another point, I think, in the Iowa race. One car just kind of got lost his, his line. He missed his mark. And he kind of moved up to the outer wall. I don't know what happened, but that was cool to see that, right? Instead of just lap after lap and everybody's hitting their mark, it's good to see that once in a while. I hope we see more of that. Um, I couldn't really tell about tire wear. Uh, and like I said, I wanted to see some green flag pit stops. I want to see, you know, more. I want to see the AI pit strategy. We don't know enough about that. I really want to... I really hope they fix that because that's a potential game-breaking issue. I want that to be fixed. But I'm really happy with what I saw for the most part. Um, 
I'm really excited, man. This game, I really think the biggest hurdle is going to be just accepting this game for what it is. It's not a simulator. It's not, you know, it just, you got to get over it. Um, the physics do look improved. And if the AI races the way they should, and it gives you a challenge, you should have a good time. If you approach the game and accept it for what it is, it's not a, it's not even a sim cage. So I'm trying to help you guys re, you know, how do, how do you get the most out of this game? That's how you do it. So I know what this game is, is meant to be, and I'm going to approach it that way. And it does look fun. I see a lot going on, and we haven't even really seen the rivalry system, how that works. So there's still things that we don't know about. And this is, I, I'm really pumped to see this. Um, what do you guys think? That's what I'm, what I thought of, you know, today's uh, footage. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited, man. This is a good year for race games, right? You got Gran Turismo Sport coming out. Project Cars 2, uh, Forza. Uh, I'm not a game, uh, uh, I'm not a fanboy, right? I play, I'm a PlayStation guy mostly. I, I'm not an Xbox guy, but I'm, I'm not one of these guys that gets into these stupid fanboy wars. Forza looks amazing. So, I may get that on, on PC. I got a PC for gaming. I'm going to show that to you guys. Hopefully in the near future. I'm, I'm still waiting for that motion simulator I've been telling you guys about. Right now, it's being held at a freight forwarder, but it's been built and, and it's been picked up. When it ships... I'm going to get a, a notification. They're going to send me a tracking uh, number and all that stuff. It's taking a lot longer than I thought, but I'm the first guy in the U.S. to order this motion simulator that I told you about. Uh, it's it's called, it's a, the company's called Canis. Uh, it, Canis. Just Google Canis motion simulator, and you'll see clips of it. You'll see what it is. It's the first motion simulator that works with consoles, and PCs, right? I've been waiting for something like this for years. This is the first company to do it, so I ordered it, and I look. I really look forward to, to, to reviewing it. I can't wait to show you guys. So, man, it's a good year for racing. A Gran Turismo Sport, it's a 4K. It, it, it's, uh, I believe, 60 frames. HDR. And it works with VR. That's something I really want 704 games to look to, to, to doing, right? To making VR accessible to the NASCAR games. Because um, I want to I wanna get into that too. So, Project Cars 2 looks fantastic. Dynamic weather. Um, so, man, and Forza looks fantastic. It's also going to have dynamic weather. We have so much to choose from in terms of if you're just a car fanatic into racing, it's a good year. So I really look forward to these games. And NASCAR is really looking good, man. I know there's still some people that are down on it. But if you really just take a step back, take it for what it is. It's, it's an arcade game. Maybe, you know, just a tweak of, of Sim, but it's... Accept it for what it is. It looks like it could be fun, right? So, what do you guys think? And I'll talk to you guys when there's more news ahead. Later.